So I'm back here with another video for y'all today. And as you can see on the screen, you know it's going to be a tutorial. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so I'll be making a flyer design. I'm going to go ahead and get my background that I want to use. I have the background picture that I want to use right here. And I'm going to just scratch it out to how I want it to be. So I'm going to crop. I'm going to drag it down like this. I want to take it and make it transparent. Like just a tad bit. Like that maybe. So get my transparent gradient. Type in phone, and I'm going to use this phone right here. So I think I want to put it like right here, maybe, and make it like that big. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm exit out of here, and I'm gonna go to my lines and shapes and hit that square, like right there, and I'm gonna stretch it out. Let me go ahead and position it to the back so therefore I'll know. Okay, so I have positioned it to the back and I'm just stretching it out so we could cover up the background somewhat. And I think that right there is good. Nope. I should have, oops, didn't mean to do that. But I could just take this and just slide it up a tad bit. If not, then. I think that right here should be a good size for it. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it the size as is, but I'm going to change the background color on it. Guys, okay, so I changed the background color on it that I want it to be. Now I'm going to find my model that I want to place inside of this, well, in the front of this um, shape. Model I'm not going to keep as is. What I want to do is remove the background from this. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you want to know where I got this model, I purchased it from Etsy and I will leave the link down below so y'all can go and get it if y'all want it. I did not get it off of Pinterest. Um, have y'all seen like the um the last two videos I made like with me getting on camera? If you saw them already, please let me know what y'all think of them so far and do and what y'all like for me to make more videos of them like more videos of how i made like the last two videos with me getting on camera talk about how you can do this and that or whatever and if y'all have any like other suggestions that y'all would like just comment them down below and just let me know like any other type of videos y'all would like to make for me to make talk about um specifically about canva or um etsy or some type of side hustle but i would prefer canva or etsy if y'all have any questions about those two just leave the comments down below and i would try my best to make a video for it but let's continue on with the video okay so now i want to go back to my elements and click on that circle so with this circle i'm going to put like right here but i'm going to change this to the color black change that to black but I want to also like, it don't have to be that big. I'm going to make another one and this one is going to be the color. I think I do like that. Um, why did it change it? Okay, so now it changed it. Now I have to resize this one and put it like right here. Um, uh, maybe. No, I think I want to make it like a somewhat bigger because I don't want that like black outline on it. I mean, behind it to be too big, you know. Okay, so I think that size right there is good. So we have that size. Now I'm going to go and get my fonts. Okay, so that is the font. It's called Edition and Spring. And actually, somebody had put in left a um, comment asking me to do a spring flyer. I forgot the person name, but I do remember seeing that comment. So this is basically why I'm making it. 
So just let me know what y'all want to see, and I'll try my best to get it done. Okay, now I want to go back to my elements and get this. Like, before, let me move this to the side first. Then I want to make a, like a copy of this. And this one is just going to say sell and put it right. I'm trying to, like, keep at least one font the same. I mean, one font across the whole flyer or maybe one to two. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to do. Um... Okay, so I have that one right here. Now I'm going to go back to that shape. I'm going to position it to the front like that. And I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to rotate it some like that. At least y'all can see what it says. But the thing is, I think I want to keep, I mean, change this to the color black. And let me like zoom in some. I mean, crop it some. I'm going to make another copy, but I'm going to change this one to like that light pink. Now I'm going to crop it just a tad bit and put it in the middle of this one like that. I'm trying to. Nope, I still don't have it. Okay, so now I have it how I want it to be. I'm going to copy this text right here. And this one is just going to say, um, this one is just going to say flash. And you're going to see in a minute what I do. I'm not going to keep the same font. I'm actually going to change it to, let me scroll up. I'm going to change it to this one, I believe. Or I could change it to this. Whichever looks better. Okay, so I have the color changed on it. So now I'm going to make another copy of that text. But I'm going to change this one. And I'm just going to put spring 23. And I want to change this one to the color pink. Okay, so now we have this one. And right here in this box, I'm going to put... Let me change it to the color black. And I'm going to put 50, $50 off. Did I put 59? I meant 50. Um, so I'm going to scratch this out. Try to fit it in the box as much as possible. And 
Okay, so we have the $50 off. Now I want to go and get my icon. I'm going to just use the Instagram icon. But you can use whatever icons that you want to use in this. Whatever you prefer is up to you. So I want to use this one. So you can put other icons, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just put this icon here. And you, of course, you would want to put like your website also. So I'm trying to make, okay. So that size is good. And I'm going to make a copy of this text. And I want to change this to the color black. I'm going to put, uh, let's just put your social media. So we have that text and I'm going to make it probably, okay, so I think that right there is good. And if you want to add anything else to it, you can. I want to go and add me some butterflies. So only thing you got to do is just type in your butterflies. Just type in butterflies. We'll go and search for butterflies. And I want to change this one to that color. I just want to add like some glam and other stuff to it. Like give it more of a springy vibe. Even though it already is. But this will make it pop even more. So that's why I'm adding it. And I'm going to flip this one. Let me rotate it like this. And... I think I can position it to the back. Okay. So that right there is good. So I think that's everything that I wanted to edit. So yes, that's the end of this video. The flyer is completed. If you enjoyed this video or you like this flyer, please let me know. And hit that thumbs up if you like it. Share this video, all of your social media, family, your friends, whoever wants to learn. Um, just send them over my way and let them know i got some tutorials that can help them on um, learn how to design so yeah that's the end of this video hit that thumbs up hit subscribe if you're new here and i'll see y'all next video god bless